Well, it may sound strange to be talking about Oklahoma winter weather after the heat we've seen. The 2023 Farmer's Almanac predicts snow could come a couple weeks before you carve the turkey for Thanksgiving. News Force Caitlin Ogle is looking out for you. If you want to know what the weather's going to be for a, a wedding next year, a party, a, a vacation, take a look at what we have to say. Editor of the 2023 Farmer's Almanac, Peter Geiger, says we may see snow in the middle of November and a cold end to December. January may be the coldest and stormiest month of the season. I don't think to the degree that you've had the last couple of years, but, I, but it's going to be a you'll be you'll feel your cold spots. Geiger says they predict the weather two years in advance. And it's not by judging how furry caterpillars are or cutting open a persimmon seed. They look to space and a formula originally adapted in 1818 by the founder. How the sunspots move or don't move impacts weather. The moon impacts weather and the planets impact weather. But I would say the moon and the sunspots in particular. The farther it is, the harder it is to get that exactly where you want it to go. It's kind of like throwing darts. If you're right next to it, it's easy. If you back up, you might be a little bit further off. News 4's Aaron Brackett says meteorologists have a different approach, using satellites and new technology to predict the forecast. So we're in what's called La Nina right now. It means sea surface temperatures thousands of miles away are cooler than average. That actually has a bearing on Oklahoma weather, and historically that means a drier and more mild winter. While Brackett says it's ambitious for the Almanac to predict the weather two years out, the editor says they're sticking to their methods. I'm told we're 80% accurate. I think sometimes we're less and sometimes more, but I think we do a good job. Caitlin Ogle, Oklahoma's News 4. Aaron pulling double, double duty there. The editor tells us weather only makes up about 8% of the almanac. It's mostly filled with gardening advice and life hacks.